The inside view microwave is an 1100 watt Kenmore that's been modified a little bit. As you can see, there's a snap-on LED work light on the top of the microwave, and this can brightly light the interior for me. A hole was cut in the top of the microwave, and then fine metal mesh welded and sealed in such that there is no microwave leakage, but most of the light from the work light can find its way through the fine mesh, and light up the interior of the microwave. My primary video port is cut in the back of the microwave, and as you can see, there's a filter on there that reduces the brightness so that I don't overload the camera and just record a white image with no detail. What this filter is, is it's two circular polarizers stacked one on top of the other. As I turn one, the cross polarizers will let either nearly all of the light through or nearly none of it. So it basically gives me a uh, variable brightness filter, I guess. Now, loaded in the microwave today, there's a 8x8 inch white ceramic plate at the bottom, two round spacers cut from fire brick, one on top of the other, and on top of that is my target for today, which is the core tube from a 1000 watt metal halide HEID bulb. This uh, lets me get some good footage of that bulb's discharges close up and in HD. Next I'll show quickly uh, where the camcorder goes to get these internal shots. Here I've moved the main video camera so we can see the side and rear of the inside view microwave. As you can see, there's a little shelf at the back that a uh, camcorder or, uh, or a still camera or whatever I want to uh, shoot photos or videos with can sit on that little shelf and be braced with styrofoam and cardboard at the correct angle. For the experiments, the microwave is actually turned on and off by this dead man switch on a six foot cord. For the microwave to run, my thumb has to be down on that switch. If I let go for any reason, the microwave stops. Here's what the microwave looks like closed and ready to go with the uh, interior illuminated by the no flicker LED work light. I use the no flicker LED light because if I want to shoot slow motion in the microwave, which I do occasionally, I need a non-flicker light source. 